we can see um, there is a pretty busy week ahead of us. Also, don't forget that Friday is the non-farm payroll. Today, uh, let me change my time to Eastern. Nine thirty Eastern, or in about hour and fifteen minutes, we have the uh, Aussie building approvals and also the retail sales. Those two coming out at the same time can make a pretty big move. And what we can expect if we see worse than expected number, we will be trading the Aussie short. And if the number is better than expected, um, Aussie dollar uh, will move bullish. Later on, there is the uh, <clears throat> cash rate and also uh, the RBA rate statement. Uh, we expect that uh, World Bank of Australia will keep the same interest rate. And tomorrow we have the pending home sales for US. Not too much going on uh, during the UK session. Then in the afternoon for the Asian session we have the Australian trade balance. And on Wednesday, UK PMI services. And then we have the ADP non-farm from the US and also the non-manufacturing PMI. Those are two uh, reports that can uh, move the market. On Wednesday afternoon, we have the unemployment rate for New Zealand and we can trade the New Zealand dollar on Wednesday afternoon Thursday a lot of news we're starting with the UK session with um, UK's uh, interest rate uh, rate statement. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> then uh, for the US session, we'll have the Canadian building permits. This is something we need to pay attention to. And of course, the unemployment claims for the US. Uh, the the unemployment claims almost er, always pretty much always uh, move the market a lot and then in the afternoon again we have RBA <clears throat> monetary policy statement so we will see market moving very fast uh, during this week now. On Friday, we have the unemployment, uh, <clears throat> the, I'm sorry, the non-farm, and a lot of new traders should probably stay out of the market on Friday, even during the UK session. If you guys have experience with trading the non-farm, and it will be fine for you to trade uh, this Friday every first Friday we have the non-farm payroll now today we'll be talking about price patterns how to find price patterns and basically uh, how one a technical analysis uh, need to start 
Um, what do you guys do first when you open the charts? And when you see a pattern, what are you supposed to do? Uh, the, the whole uh, <clears throat> ABC in finding patterns, if I can say it that way. Now first, here, um, this is Aussie Dollar Daily Chart. I always start with opening a large chart, like daily or four hour chart. And what we do is we will try to find areas of strong support or resistance. And what we have here is um, resistance level at 0, 9400. This is the next resistance level. It's pretty far. And the, the current resistance level where price is at right now is around 9100. We have 786 um, of the main swing converging with a 1 to 7, very close convergence, about uh, 20 pips. And uh, this 1 to 7 is coming from the sub swing ABCD. And this convergence is providing uh, some resistance. Um, it seems like price is trying to break above that resistance level. And um, the news that we're expecting in about what hour and 10 minutes will help the Aussie either break above this resistance level or start trading bearish. Now usually when price is at a strong level, when news are coming out, we will see fast moves. So it will be nice if we can catch those moves. We'll see if we can develop a trading plan for today. Once we know those areas on one hour chart, so the one area is 9100, next area is 9400, I'll go to the lower time frame, we're going to four hour chart, we'll place two horizontal lines, one at one, 9100, another at 9400, just so we uh, know where those resistance levels are. Um, I'll just uh, make those a little thicker. Now we can see how price has stopped near the current resistance level. And what we can see as a possible scenario in future is price is making higher highs. If the uh, Australian numbers are not good or if the numbers are worse than expected, what we'll see is bearish move price can form bearish head and shoulders, continue trading with the bears over the, the last, uh, the next week or so. Now, if news are positive, what will see most likely is fast move with the bulls and eventually price will come and trade at that resistance level. Now, we need to go to small time frame and uh, start our trading plan. Now first, we have this resistance becoming support area. Now, even if price starts moving lower, if numbers are not uh, too bad this level can stop price of uh, falling lower, of dropping lower. And what we can see is bounce of this level and bullish continuation. Let's see on the current swing what is that pullback. Oh, this is 382. Well, this area is a strong 
resistance area, a strong support area. We need to be paying attention. And if we're trading, if we trade a breakout for uh, the news, if we throttle the news, we need to make sure that we take some profit before that level. If we want to straddle the news, what we need to do is place a couple orders, one below the price, one above the price, and trade in either direction. If news are good, price will break through the north, will take us in, and we'll continue trading with the bulls. If price breaks, uh, if the news are worse than expected, if the numbers are worse than expected, price will break to the south and we'll see bearish move. So we have here this range between 91.15 91.40 where we would want price to move away from in order for us to place an entry. So uh, if I would be straddling, I would want my buy order to be somewhere here at 91.45. My sell order would be somewhere at 91.05. And before selling, we want to make sure to profit first somewhere here at 9070, 9075, or about 30 pips from our entry. And what we're going to use for stop is about 25 to 30 pips stop as well. So if we're entering at 9105, we'll place our stop at 9130. If we're buying at 9145, we're placing a stop at 91.15. Um, Let's take a look at a smaller chart and see how it looks. We have the 10 minute chart. The red line is our um, intraday top of the range and if price trade at this top of the range and stays gives us a sell signal, we will start trading with the bears. Now, since we have the news coming out, we won't place any orders before that and if the news are positive price would <clears throat> just blow through that level and won't give us any uh, sell um, signals. Now if the news are close to the expectations price can continue on trading in this range here so, uh, and by close to the expectations, I mean a, clo a number close to 0.4%. In that case, price will continue trading in this range and when we see price coming to the top side and if price gives us a sell signal, we will sell according to our intraday sell strategy.
So, what's the most important? We need to always find strong levels and trade according to those strong levels because in at this point here where price is at right now we know that if price moves with the bulls will move with the bulls for a long term and I mean that we have to till the next resistance about 250 pips so we can easily trade with the bulls for the next 250 pips and any time we see any bullish opportunity and by bullish opportunity I mean uh, like here price can be bouncing off previous resistance becoming support any setups like that that we can use support converging with uh, fib levels here we have the support with 5-0 bullish engulfing candle now if the, if price starts trading bearish we would know that <clears throat> next level of support is all the way down at 8650 area and we'll start trading with the bears and any swing that we have we know that we'll be entering short we won't be trying to find bull entries bullish entries because those bullish entries won't give us so much in profit we'll try to enter on a sell signals or any sell strategies that you guys are using because you know that price will be trading with the bears all the way down here there's no point for you to be um, entering in a bullish trade if you know that price will be trading bearish for the next uh, few hundred pips so our larger time frame is given a given us um, long-term target and even if you guys don't enter in a trade with um, 250 pip limit but smaller limits on a every every time you have a new opportunity you will be able to take that opportunity and you know that market will be moving bullish all the way to that uh, targeted price and as we said um, I want to check it was 9400 so here if price continues to trade with the bulls uh, eventually price will pull back will have resistance becoming support will enter here in future price may form a bullish Gartley we'll take that bullish Gartley price will move up here we'll see resistance level and we may see bullish and uh, bearish engulfing candle do we need to take that trade well we know that price will be trading bullish for the next uh, 250 pips why would we take this sell entry here if we know that very soon price will resume that bullish trade bullish trend what we'll do is we'll wait for price to find support most likely at the past support and this is where we can actually take that buy and trade it all the way up to our next target it doesn't mean that our next target is supposed to be here at 9400 it can be this resistance level like a very conservative uh, target 
this resistance level, maybe if we pull a fib from a current low to a high, we may we may have 1618 somewhere here. So we have one uh, target at the B. We have one target at the B, one target at this 1618. Then price will start moving bullish. We'll come back to retest that uh, resistance becoming support. Here we can enter bullish again. And we can have multiple entries on a way up, but we are only taking position bullish positions because we know that price most likely will be trading to that 9400 level. And I'm saying most likely, and nothing is for sure, but we trade probabilities. Now we know that if price breaks the level from the daily, the next close resistance is all the way up here. It's either 9350 uh, or 9400 level. We the probability that price will just reverse in the middle of nowhere, it's very low and we don't need to take uh, to pull a trigger at level like this. We take trades when we know that the probability is in our favor. How are you guys doing so far? Yes, thank you. If you guys have any questions at any time, yeah. Well, m the question is, uh, 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 what time frame I usually start my analysis? Most of the time, I'll start analysis at. Um, a daily time frame or four hour chart. Either of those is good for <clears throat> starting point. And once we find targeted areas and we know in what direction we'll be um, trading, we can go to a smaller time frame and look for trading opportunities in that same direction. Now, let's take a look at the Euro. This is the Euro daily chart. Price broke both downtrend lines and Euro dollar is very, very, very strong bullish trend currently. Uh, we can see 786 converging with previous support. Uh, and this level may become a resistance and that is also a 13300 level. So the 3300 round number it can uh, provide, this is uh, uh, also psychological level and um, also price is currently trading near uh, 13200. All those round numbers are psychological levels where uh, people are taking profits off Now what we can expect, since uh, we said, okay, this is a resistance level, next resistance level is uh, 3300, uh, those, are, uh, those levels are very, very close to each other. So we cannot be targeting uh, big profit level, uh, profit tar we, don't, we can have big profit targets. Now, price broke. Um, uh, 
I will delete the trend line. Price is breaking uh, above this wedge. What we can see is the break is not very clean, but uh, price can retest this level and continue all the way up here to 13300. I would like to also pull a flip from this current low to the high. I will do this on a one hour chart as well. It will look a lot better. Now, let's take a look at the one hour chart. Uh, flip from the low to the high. Previous resistance becoming support near 382 level. Prices in very small tight range forming pennant formation. I would not be surprised if price breaks retests that uh, resistance becoming support and rallies all the way up here to the um, 133 is here and price can also just move bullish now the uh, Aussie news can also move the euro dollar but uh, it won't move it as much as it will move the Aussie dollar. We can see some reaction on the euro dollar as well, but uh, we'll see a lot bigger reaction on Aussie dollar. intraday entries during the UK and US session um, had multiple chances entering the euro dollar for the same trade um, whoever missed the first one had a second chance third then a fourth chance here on that last candle and then very very fast rally on the euro dollar And after that, we see this very, very tight consolidation. From around noon Eastern time till now, Euro dollar is being in about 15 hip range. Sometimes uh, currency pairs can be in very uh, tight consolidation and during the non-farm payroll week there is a lot a lot of announcements coming out so I hope that uh, actually this week won't be too slow but at the same time can be very choppy. I'll take a look at a Swiss Swiss daily chart. The Swiss has been in very, very strong downtrend. Dollar Swiss, very strong downtrend over the last couple of months. Currently, price is trading near the 786 level of that major big upswing.
and the 786 is at 103. My charts uh, can't load previous candles. I need to um, well, restart my charts. Let's see if a refresh will do it. No, it's not doing it on the one hour charts. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at the 10 minute. Here, our intraday ranges are giving us um, very strong levels of support and telling us when we can enter in counter trend trades. Like here, the circled candle. Also today we had a good counter trend trade with a nice fast move, but like all the pairs, we went into consolidation at noon today. Now, if price would to retest. Here we, we can have another bullish re-entry. If price continues to trade bullish, it's even better. Because once we see the pullback, we will be able to enter with continuation trade that has a lot higher percentage of success. Now, the counter trend rate has lower percentage of success but higher profits so both trade setups would be good I want to see if you guys have any questions if not I will see you all tomorrow morning for the morning trade session I hope um, you guys enjoyed that Monday class the next Monday class is next Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern. And we have a special seminar next uh, Monday. It's about building your trading plan. We have received a lot of uh, emails about uh, trading plans we see that most of you guys um, apparently don't know how to build your own trading plan this class will be about um, how about how to build a trading plan this class is recommended to traders who have inconsistent account equity it will be about two hours long when you go to Monday free class and press here on reserve seat you will see all the information and what we'll be talking about in this class we'll talk about the difference between the trading system and a trading strategy the difference between the trader and the pro trader and what is that different that the pro traders are doing that makes them successful we'll talk about equity management risk and reward ratios how to properly filter trade setups using risk reward ratios and we'll talk about the trading plan which is the essential part of the class and very important why losses can hurt you but can't hurt the pro traders 
it will be very interesting class you guys can sign up this will be uh, a class with a small fee if any of you guys are interested in learning how to build a trading plan uh, this class will be good for you also we will provide half an hour session after the class you guys will be able to schedule a half an hour one-on-one -on -one session with us and we will help you to build your uh, personal trading plan so um, I would recommend this class to anyone who does not have set a proper trading plan I want to thank you all for joining me for the tonight's class I will see you again tomorrow guys have a great evening and safe trading